Welcome all to the weekly outlook. Boone here from Elliott Wave Pro. Getting straight into the weekly outlook, starting with the DXY on the daily. There's two scenarios here, like I've gone over over the last, you know, few, well, couple of months. This is either the end of wave C here and we go up, break the top, or what I'm more inclined to think is we get an A, B, C in here and then an A, B, C as a larger correction before we get an A, B, C. So we're really, there is no direction on the daily. Um, looking for the lower time frames for the direction. On the H4, if I just zoom out a bit. On the H4, we got these five down in here. We got an A, B, C. This is still looking rather bullish in here. We do have a bull hidden there. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get a, another another push higher up breaking this top and possibly up to this 100 fib. If you're looking for the buy, that's where I'd be targeting this 100 fib here. The H1, um, I mean, you, you have to be careful. We do have a lower low here. But um, we sort of got this in here. Oh, if I just... We got this little correction in here, looking very bullish here. So you could look for the buy here for an A, B, C, wherever that 100 fib is. Um, you know, you definitely want to be at break even or just before. Um, and yeah, you'd be targeting that uh, 100 fib, like I mentioned. Um, ideally, this ball hidden plays out and you get five up in here breaking that top um, but if you're only going to get three you know you you want to take half off and uh yeah protect your position are you on the daily again there's a couple of different scenarios here like i've been mentioning over the last month or so i'm looking at that a B and a C up. We got this C up, but we had a bear hidden. It didn't go very far, and um, we end up getting a deep retracement. So there's a couple of scenarios in this as well. You know, um, we're really looking at the lower time frames to get the direction. On the H4, we got three up in here. We got that WXY. Um, I was looking for an X2 and then a Z up. Uh, instead, it gave us a larger correction. We do have the bullish divergence all in here now. Um, we do have an impulse up in here. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be quite difficult. I would be looking for a retracement. Um, you can't buy up here. We have all that bearish divergence. So we need to wait for a larger correction. I'll be looking for at least an A, a B, and a C down in here. Ideally, back to the 50 fib, you know, so we get a better risk reward, and then I'll be looking for an A, B, C, um, or more upside. So at this stage, if you are looking for the sell in here, um, you have to be careful because you're selling into a correction, and we don't know what sort of correction it can be. It can be many different sorts of corrections. So, yeah, you have to be careful. Ideally, you'd wait for the correction to be finished and then you look for your buy set up, you know, for at least an A, B, C. GU on the daily. So like I've been going on for quite some time, you know, this is still looking very much bullish in here. I'm looking for an A, B, C. It's very slow, this C. Um, you know, this C here, it did go up and then break the ending point of wave A. So it can be complete, but this is looking rather bullish still. We're in a large correction here, like I showed last week. Looking at this complex correction. Um Looking for that one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So for a three, 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 
we need this other one down and then we can start looking for the buys. We need that co uh, complex correction to complete before we can start to look for that buy. Um, on the H1, I'm not sure if we have bearish divergence or not. I don't think we do. But, um, you know, I'll be looking for, a, a, more, than, more than likely, I'll be looking for a sell. Not that I'd really sell this. <coughs> Excuse me. But, uh, yeah, like the cell's going to be rather dangerous. If we, if we do get a nice impulse down here and then a bullish setup, um, you know, I'd be interested in this buy, you know. And if I just go back to the H4 quickly, you know, we may get, we may get, an, it may turn even more complex. We get another one down here and then like another three up here and then another three or five down in here. So as a complex correction. So, um, you know, you definitely can look for the buy here. You know, um, if it doesn't play out, you know, you get a break even or you get a little bit of profit out of it and, and then you get another chance over here to buy. EU on the daily. Again, this is very similar to all the other majors, you know, that we're really going down to the lower time frames to look for the direction. Looking for this wave C up. Again, we've got a cross down here. Uh, this wave C has broken the ending point of wave A. So we're really looking at the lower time frames for the direction. H4, we got the five up here. We had that ball hidden here. We got the fifth one up. We got correction in here. We got all this bullish divergence. We got a nice impulse up. Um, we're just looking at the H1 for a correction and then more upside. At this stage, you know, it's more of a sell. We'll be looking at this as the impulse here. And we're looking at an A, B, you know, well, this is a B wave, a C or a wave Y, X2 and a Z down or whatever sort of correction it's going to give you in here. We don't know what sort of correction it's going to give you in here. Um, I don't believe there's any bull hidden on this. No, there is no bull hidden and there's no bearish divergence either. So, you know, have to be quite careful. If you again, like... GU, if you're selling this, um, you're selling into a correction. So it can be quite choppy. And you on the daily. And so we're looking for this C up again, um, you know, Looking for a correction in here, and we got that. Um, H4 sort of got this uh, five up in here, and then we got that WXY, X2, the Z down. Um, this is meant to be on the lower time frames, this count here. Um, so this is what I'm looking at this impulse well this motive wave up in here we got that like W X Y I'll be looking for the X2 and then a Z up you really have to wait for that correction now and again it, it is looking rather bearish in here to give you larger correction You'd be waiting for the time factor here, over here, and then you'd be starting to look for that buy for the wave Z. UY, oh, sorry, GY. Um, this isn't really playing very nicely. I was looking for that extended wave. Why and we got that, and then I was looking for a larger correction. 
like for this W, X, Y, X2 and the Z up. Instead, it gave it a sharp move down and then it's come, went up and broke that top. So it's not really playing very well. Um, I mean, there was buys in this, but um, so we, we're we looking at that uh, that motive wave up in here and we did get that. Uh, we did end up getting that wave Z up. Or well, even last week, we we got that to that first target. This week, we've got to that second target. So now, at the very minimum, you'll be looking for a, a retracement, at least 50 fib of of this move up here. So you really only be looking for sells, um, whether there's a sell set up on it yet. Um, possibly not. Um, you'd have to go right down onto the lower time frames. I mean, we're getting all the bearish divergence, so you wouldn't want to be buying. I'd be looking on the lower time frames as a little bearish setup in here for at least, you know, at least an A, B, C, and more than likely you'll get a larger pullback back to the 50 fib like I showed. It's due for that correction. UY. Um, like I've mentioned, we I was looking at that A, B, C, then an A, B, C. Um, this wave C down never went anywhere near that 100 fib. So I've been saying that, you know, even if this goes up, we got that ball hidden here. Like I've mentioned, we got that ball hidden. So I said, this will either go up and break the top or we'll get a very deep pullback. And we already have the very deep pullback. Ideally, from here, it does go up and break that top. And like I've mentioned, you know, all this will be a wave B and then we get the A, B, C. So again, you know, it's not really the time to be buying. We're getting this wave C up here. Um, we're getting all that bearish divergence. So, you know, I definitely wouldn't be looking for the buy. Um, but uh, you may get a sell set up. It's <clears throat> it's not really a sell set up. It's more bullish still. You know, it's consolidating up the top here. So we're getting some sort of A B. You probably get a C down in here and and another one up. So you're going to have to be very careful. I would be waiting for, you know, so we get a little bit more upside in a flat in here. Get, you know, I'd be waiting for a nice impulse down and then a sell set up. Ideally, like I said, it goes up and breaks the top and then gives you the sell. Um, USD CAD, um, this isn't playing very nicely. We've got that X2 here. Um, we're looking for that wave Z up. It never went and broke the, any point of wave Y. So I've been looking at this correction in here on the lower time frames. I still am looking at that. Um, and that actually has just about played out, I believe. Um, we got those five up on the H4. We got an A, an A, B, C to finish off the B wave, and then we got that C down. Now we're getting an A, B, C. Um, I believe this is going to turn more complex in here. Um, we got three down in here. Well, we got that one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then another three down in here. So that can be the uh, complex correction complete and there is a little buy in there um, so you may get a, a buy set up you'd have to be very careful because it's so choppy um, but you'd be looking at that A, B and a C up um, yeah this pair is quite difficult to trade 
But all the signs are there. You know, this last leg here, we got an A, B, C in here. Bullish divergence. Um, you got a little bullish setup in here on the lower time frames to buy. The Swissy on the daily. We got all that bullish divergence, like I've mentioned many times. Um, we bounced off the, the, the trend line here. Um, and we're getting an impulse up. H4. We don't have any bearish divergence on the H4. So, you know, we sort of got W, X, Y, X2 and a Z up. Lost the lost the bearish divergence and so I was looking for a larger correction in here and then I'll be looking for buys again eg on the daily we've been waiting for this to break this lows and now it has broken well it's broken at least this low here over here so that's great. We got that A, B extended wave C down. We got this W, X, Y, X2 and that Z down as an extended wave C. So now we're really just looking for buys. It's not really, um, I mean, I'd be looking at this as an expanding flat. Some sort of an expanding flat here. Probably better seen on the H1. So I'd definitely be looking for buys. Um, but it is quite risky. It is an expanding flat. Um, I teach my traders how to trade this on these expanding flats but i'd be looking at an a a b and a c c up um you may get another one down in here before it goes like a w x y x2 and a z down finishing off the c wave in the a b c and then i'll be looking for at least an a b c and more than likely this can turn rather motive because on the daily chart we are at the, at the lows so you know definitely worth it if you get the bullish set up um, giving it a go. <laughs> WTI. Just looking at this last section here, really. Um, we had that nice impulse up, um, but this was very impulsive here. So I was looking for a correction in here, and this may give us a, like an A, B, C in here, and then we get an A, B, C. This wave C down in here may or may not go and break that low. So really, um, you know, this is looking very corrective in here. Like I've mentioned um, over the last few weeks, we just got that C up. Well, you know, we've got that five down, A, B, C. Hasn't quite got to that 100 fib. There's no, it's still sitting up here. So there is still possibly more upside, like for an A, B, C up in here to finish it off. Um, we are getting bearish divergence in here. So I am thinking more downside. Um, you may get a bearish setup in here. I don't know, it's a ball hidden. Okay, so we we have a possible ball hidden here. Uh, this is the low here. This low didn't quite go and break that low, so we do have a possible ball hidden. It may go up for one more time, and this is a flat, like an A, B, C in here, and then you get the A, B, C as your running flat, and then you get an A, B, C. So if, I mean, if you get a buy set up, you could look for the buy, keep very tight stop. Uh, yeah. Nothing's changed on gold. You know, we're just looking at this last section here at this stage. 
we're looking for an A, a B, and a C. Internally here, I'm looking at an A, B, C. We're looking for this wave C up in here for a couple of weeks now. And then I'll be looking for an A, B, C to finish off this B wave. And then we'll load up on the buys over here somewhere. Um, really, at this stage, it's just scalping. Um, there was a little buy in here on the lower time frames. And you probably still could look at this. Um, we are getting all that bearish divergence now. Um, you'd really be scalping now. You'd be waiting for a little correction in here to buy to you know continue this wave C up like this A, B, C. Um, you'd be just looking for a little flag in here on the lower time frames to jump in on the buy at this stage. Silver, Silver hasn't really been playing very nicely either. Um, we're looking for this, well, I've been looking for, I was, I was thinking it was going to go here. Um, we get that A, B, C, and then we get this A, B, C before we get the larger A, B, C. It's not really playing nicely. Um, it's looking very much bullish now. I did share this in the group. We're looking for a buy here, as you can see. Um, just like an A, a B, and we're looking for at least a C up. So if you get a buy set up on the lower time frames, you definitely can look for the buy. Um, and again, I show my traders how to trade all this with a high probability of it going. So um, again, if you're unsure, by all means, join the group. Uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, we're just, you know, we're waiting for that larger correction. We got this, like, big impulse up here, and we're waiting for a correction in here. We did get a, a move down in here. We did get a sell set up there, and then we got that bullish set up here um, to buy. This bullish set up in here... Um, Like this bullish set up here, I was just really looking for an ABC and then like an ABC. It took off. It didn't matter because you'd be in the buy if you trade this. But now I've been saying, wait for this X2. Um, we've got that X2 now. So now you can start to look for buys again. Um, so we have that time factor. So now, you know, if you get a buy set up, look for this wave Z. We do have a bull hidden in here, and it will help if you know how to trade these bull hiddens. Following our rules, um, you know, you get a high probability trade out of it if you follow our rules, if you know them. Uh, S&P's taken off again. Really, there's nothing we can do with this. If you're not in the buy, you're not going to be looking for the buy up here. We're waiting for that correction. We got this W, X, Y, X2. We uh, had the bull hidden and everything there. We're looking for this X2. Uh, sorry, the Z up. We lost all the bearish divergence. So now I'm just waiting for a larger correction and then more upside. I've got to wait for this correction. Um, <clears throat> unless you're just scalping up the top here on the real lower time frames, you know, uh, there's no trades. Um we were looking last week at this here and here, like this A, B, C here. Um, get a buy in here. Um, but yeah, there, there is that ball hidden there. Um, went up and broke the top. So yeah, you're really just scalping on this. Ideally, you'd be looking for a sell and there just isn't any sells on it. You'd be waiting for whatever happens here. Um, for a, a, a nice impulse down and a sell set up, and then you could look for sells. You're just scalping buys if you're looking for buys up here, and it's, it's quite risky, in my opinion. Um, AU200, 
going as planned. We've got that A, B, C. Still can get up to that 100 fib. On the H4, we do have the 5 up now. So we got the 5 up. We got that W, X, Y, X2. We had that ball hidden there. We got that wave set up to that first target. I said, be careful next week. It may be just an A, B, C in here, and we go up to that second target. That's more than likely what's happening in here. So, you know, I mean, I wouldn't be buying up here, but um, if you are buying this in here, then you you, you definitely can, you know, but um, it's just not something I do. It's not a high what we call high pr probability trade but uh you know you'd be just looking for an a b c you'd be targeting that 161.8 that second target um so yeah second target here that 7841.8 level the FTSE on the daily, what's this one doing? Very sideways, you know. I'm not even going to go over this very much. This is, you know, if you're trading this, you're getting cut to pieces, you know. Like, you know, it's it's not playing the game. I'm just going to leave it until we find something um, when it's completed its structure. Um, and finally, the DAX. Uh, yeah. Um, this one's still going. It was bullish in here. We got more upside. Um, we are starting to get all this bearish divergence now. You know, we've got this like very sharp move up in here. We're waiting for this correction um, before we look for the buy. Now we're getting all that bearish divergence whether you want to look for buys here or not, you know. Um, the H1, you still could look for a buy. You'd be looking at like a, a WX extended wave white. So you'd be looking at a WXY X2 in here. You'd have to wait for that X2 and then you look for that wave Z up. Um, so I would be waiting for the X to a possible like bulk hidden or something in here before you look for that wave set up. So I hope you all enjoyed the weekly outlook. Please help the channel out and share, subscribe, hit the like button. Enjoy your weekend and I'll see you out there next week.